Welcome back to another video on Gearsaw Studios, and today I'm going to be showing off 24W13A, which reworks Bad Omen, and also provides a new challenge in the trial chambers, that being the ominous mechanic. So without further ado, let's investigate what's changed. So here's the new ominous mechanic. You can see a bunch of skeletons all wearing pretty good armor that's also armor trimmed. and. This brings a lot of things, three enchantments, changes to the maze, tweaks to various things, and six new potion effects, along with the whole ominous mechanic. So you can see this is admittedly quite a bit to cover. So I'm really just going to scroll through this and then better look in game. It's much easier to do it that way. Before heading into the trial chambers for the ominous content, let's talk about the ominous debuff in the first place. So. You'd be accustomed to this person right here giving you bad omen. You beat him up, you get bad omen, you avoid a village. Well, it's a little different now. Once you kill him, instead he gives you a bottle. This bottle will be any level of bad omen. So you can see, it's a little different now. When you drink it, you'll notice that bad omen is now a universal effect. It's not specifically for raids, now it can be for other things. Also, cool, trident drowned. When you walk into a trial chambers or a village, different things will happen. If I go into here, then you'll notice, well, it will turn into Raid Omen. So what you want to do here is either wait the 30 seconds to start a raid, or you can cancel it. So night vision gone, so you know the effects are gone, and what do you know, raid is cancelled. So no more accidental, oops I started a raid, because now. You can rush into the village if there's a cow, milk it, drink the milk, no more raid. So, a well, nice feature. But this also means trial chambers are affected by the new changes. As is necessary with pretty much every single snapshot now, the trial chambers have more variants. So, this room has been completely rebuilt with the water in the middle. And you'll notice, well, it's slightly different. And what's this? This is an ominous vault, not to be confused with a normal vault. This cannot be opened with trial keys, you need an ominous key to do it. So it's a bit more interesting, because when you walk into here with bad omen, then it activates hard mode for this place, and you can imagine that hard mode will be hard. Of course, I'm going to provide gameplay footage, I've learned my lesson from last time so I'm not going to provide insightful commentary during it. But yeah, not to mention there's been some general structural changes along with some loot rebalances. Nothing too significant, but of course, the ominous stuff, and then you'll notice that there are some larger rooms here, some atriums supposedly, and even a cool little sculpture here I noticed in one of the variants, which hilariously intersected with a monster room. So with this all now in place, should be a bit more interesting to explore this place. And notably, these doors here still presumably do nothing. With this info in mind, and another structure intersection somehow, well, it's time to test it, because of course, testing is fun. So, doing this, sewing off that passage, I'm going to do this room. However, I'm going to do the ominous version of it. When I drink this bottle, Bad Omen, well, it's going to have a different effect. So, when I go into survival mode, I have gear appropriate for this battle. And then I trigger one of these. Notice it's Trial Omen now. And see how there's much stronger versions of each one of these mobs. So, I'm going to have to focus. So, I'm going to mute for this. So, be very careful during this. Because these spawners will now also attack you during it. And now, for some combat footage. I'm likely going to be muted during this, might come in and voice over it if it's too boring of a clip, but here's what it's like to do an ominous spawner room. Alright, so Gearsaw's editor here, uh, also Gearsaw Studios, we cloned him. Um, well, this structure seems a little bit easier than it really should be. Although it's meant to be pandemonium with the spawners, 
they don't really affect it much. You can see how those particles are coming off me and it's doing things, but it's really not doing too much. Perhaps it's the arena, but this battle really isn't too hot. Despite the buffed mobs, a simple diamond sword should solve most of the issues. Not to mention the fact that there's lingering potions around, which can be both helpful and harmful. So, considering you can control the player, well, won't be that hard. So, you make sure to keep everything in mind. The mace will make these encounters a joke though, but you have to, you know, defeat all these to get the mace, since the heavy core will only come from the vaults now. Once you've done all of this and gotten your mace, then you can also get the wind burst enchantment showcased in the intro, and you can see how strong that is, so you do have incentive to clear this. So you can see at this point, well, the combat is more or less over. It's down to just a breeze, and it's very unlikely you die to only a breeze, unless you are getting very unlucky with fall damage. So, you can see how this would go. It can still be pretty tough, especially if you haven't properly handled of all the traps, and if you get hit by those repeatedly. But, with all of this completed, you can see I got some pretty basic loot in all of this. So, not the best loot directly, although there are some lingering potions fired out. So, once you complete all of this, well, occasionally you'll get an ominous trial key which can be used for the ominous vaults. So up here, opening one, and then I get the banner pattern, some wind charges, an iron block. You can only get the heavy cores from these now, which means you'll want to complete those. So even if you aren't ready for them initially, you're likely going to have to do the harder version several times for all of the loot. So don't feel ashamed if you can't handle those buffed encounters. So maybe not the most engaging experience yet, but still, there's still some testing to be had, not to mention the new potion effects. These will be used by the spawners to make more interesting encounters. Using an iron golem for testing, this is wind charging, and this is brewed with a breeze rod. So if I clear this golem, it will create a wind charge upon dying. Not very useful or threatening, but still. And then, next up we have weaving. And this one is a little bit more threatening. So, when you kill it, it will leave behind a cobweb. And that can get pretty annoying. And then, we have oozing. This one is crafted with a slime block. The last one was done with a cobweb, in case it wasn't obvious. And this one will make enemies split into slimes upon death. And then the last one, which is made with a stone block infestation. So, with infestation, well, you'll get a more interesting experience, because it makes silverfish appear when the target is killed. So, have fun for some absolutely chaotic encounters, especially if your trial chambers happen to be under a mountain where exterior silverfish might be leaking into the fight. Now, the mace has also gotten some of its own enchantments. It can be enchanted, as per usual, however, it cannot get knockback or looting. While the first one's mostly insignificant, especially considering the weapon's intended usage, the fact that it doesn't have looting, which in my honest opinion, probably makes the mace a very situational weapon, which will never truly beat out the sword. Same situation as the axe, since they can't get looting, no reason to ever use them except against bosses or PvP. So, the three new enchantments. Density, which makes the falling multiplier even more extreme, which has been nerfed slightly, but let's be honest, it's not enough. Breach, which is armor penetration, and Wind Burst, which can be only gotten from the ominous vaults themselves. And Wind Burst will cause a wind charge to appear when you're attacking something. So here's how it might work. So like that, and you can now combo things excessively. How did this get past the testing? I don't know, but it's kind of funny because you can run up to anything, jump once, and then attack repeatedly to utterly destroy it, which makes it by far the most powerful weapon in the game since it will also deal with the falling for you. So 
get something like a wither skeleton. I was intending to summon a wither, but okay. And, well, you can see how quickly it goes down. So, the mace is by far the strongest, even if it's not going to be viable without looting. Barring the technical changes, minor loot adjustments, and new sounds for cobwebs, this is the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe, and share your thoughts about the new trial chamber's basically rework down below. I'm interested to hear what you have to say about this new hard mode. So, enjoy the rest of your day. Gearsaw out.